a celebration of life in the shadow of a volcano. These are not clouds, as you'll see. We are Pat and Rosemary Keo, photographers. We invite you to enjoy our imagery of Rabao, Papua New Guinea. For the people of Rabaul, volcanism is a daily presence. Twice in modern times, 1937 and 1994, volcanoes Tavavor and Vulcan exploded belching huge quantities of ash. The weight of the ash, increased by soaking rains, crushed the buildings of Rabaul. Today, much of the former colonial town is buried under several meters of ash. For children born here, grey is the dominant colour of their terrestrial universe. Youngsters, indeed all the people of Rabaul, breathe in sulphur-laced particulates. Not too healthy. Sunrise, Saturday. Tavuvur disgorges ash plumes that billow thousands of metres into the sky. This volcano has been venting daily with varying intensity for decades. Slender, maneuverable canoes are hand-carved from a single log, with the outriggers being sticks and branches lashed together without a nail, in age-old fashion. No life jackets here. Children swim like fish. Rabaul is constantly under the shadow of Tavavor, yet life continues with joy. The Saturday market. There's lots of betel nut for sale, a popular stimulant. To get the desired buzz, the nut is chewed with fresh mustard and powdered lime derived from baked coral. Stained teeth and copious quantities of bright orange saliva are part of the experience. Ruins of a World War II bunker, headquarters for Admiral Yamamoto, architect of Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor. By 1943, over a hundred thousand Japanese occupied Rabaul. A freighter arrives on Sunday morning. Tafovur is smoking as normal. The noise of this volcano is loud and continuous. It roars like jet engines punctuated with moving avalanches and the odd explosion thrown in. But this is normal, and people curious about our ship are enjoying a morning paddle in the harbor. Beyond the remains of a collapsed building, church bells ring. Colorful umbrellas shed the ash, which falls like gentle snow. Note the banks of ash the men are sitting on. The people have shoveled ash away from the church, a never-ending task. Roads are 
lined with high banks of ash. This bleak environment is contrasted by cheerful music, smiles, and colorful dress. Such pride! Everyone has donned their Sunday best. Children of Papua New Guinea are endearing. Thumbs up. Notice the young fellow's double jointed thumb and his basket woven from a split palm frond. Mm -hmm.